Hello, this is Jim from Perfect Fitting Shoes, and we are proud to present this slideshow showing you how we made some of our perfect fitting athletic shoe samples at a shoe factory here in Mexico. This particular factory specializes in making golf shoes, but they also made some of our athletic shoe samples that you will see in Perfect Fitting Shoes for this collection. If you have any questions or want to talk with someone from the company, then please visit us at perfectfittingshoes.com or check us out on Facebook and YouTube under our company name Perfect Fitting Shoes. Plus, this month you can see us on Indiegogo.com under our trade name Perfect Fitting Shoes as we start the launch of our new line of shoes. Now, on to the slideshow and we hope you enjoy it. First, we start off with the inspection of the leather. Since we're using full grain leather, there is no pigmentation over the leather to hide any defects, so we have to find out where there might be defects in the leather. Then Geraldo hand cuts all the pieces that are needed to make the shoe. All the pieces used to make the sample shoes were hand cut. We use the device here to help us calculate the amount of material that is used to cut each of the pieces, and this helps us calculate the cost of the shoes. This photo shows the sewing area of the factory, and to the left is the administrative offices of the factory. Here you'll see Armando doing what's known as skiving down the edges. This is done to make the edges a little bit smoother so there's not as big of a seam when they sew two different pieces of leather together. This is the same machine, just a different angle of him cutting down the edges. This is him doubling over the edges. We do this to give a finished look to the sh final shoe that's as attractive as possible. This is done by machine or by hand. Obviously when it's done by hand it's much more time consuming and labor costs are higher. But it's a beautiful look and when you're making samples you can't justify using machines all the time. Because when you're using machines you have to have larger volume to justify the investment for the machines. So each of these pieces that are hand cut have to be hand folded and the worker takes the back side of a hammer and he grabs every two or three millimeters of the leather and he pinches it over, folds it over and has a glue upon itself through contact cement that it holds it in place. Here is another worker, Rosie, gluing different pieces of leather together so that she can have them prepared for the sewer so he doesn't have to do this work. There they are conversing about what needs to be done next and sometimes they have a little joke in which Rosie laughs. She really didn't want to be included in the photos but I asked her nicely and she said okay. A lot of the workers do multiple tasks at the factory. Here's the same guy that was doing the skiving down the edges and doubling over the edges, he's also the sewer. This factory is not a very large factory, they make high quality products and this is why I had to make the samples. They have provided more attention to details so making the samples was a better decision to have made here. When we have larger production runs, we'll be using different factories. Here's Rosie doing some hole punching at, on a shoe. This machine will punch holes such as making eyelets for laces to go through or just punching holes that are decoration into the leather. Here's Armando again at the one of the sewing machines. Just a different photo. You can see a thermal press in the background. In this photo you can see some green polyurethane foam in the foreground. It is in, penetrated with antimicrobial agents which help kill the bacteria. We use this foam in 99% of all the shoes that we make. This helps keep the shoes smelling fresh after long-term use. Here you see Rosie punching holes, actually she's putting in the eyelets from the existing holes into the uppers. She's pressing down on the lever which is crimping the metal eyelets together so that they don't fall out of the shoe. Here you can see Pedro grinding down some of the PU foam that we use in the used to make the arches for some of the insole. Arches for some of the insole. This PE foam is easy to shape and very supportive. Here you can see Lupe doing some gluing, trying to make sure that everything stays in place as she gets the arches attached to the insoles. And here's Jose 
making some of the custom made orthotics that the factory uses for their golf clients. Here's another photo of them grinding some of the PU foam. It all has to be done very little at a time to make sure it's done correctly. And here's Faustino. He takes the finished upper and he lasts everything. He's a master laster. He's been doing this for many years. And he makes sure that the upper is just right on the last position just right and the back is just right so that when the shoe is finally mounted with the sole it is completely 100% perfect. There are a lot of high tech machines that can do the lasting but something is done better when it's done by hand especially when you're making samples because when you're making samples you can't get all the fine details done uh, with machines. Everything done by hand is a lot better. Here you can see them grinding down the soles, making sure that it's a good bond between the upper and the sole. And here you can see Florentino mating up one of the soles, making sure it's clean for it to glue correctly to the upper. Here you can see Florentino and Pedro inspecting one of the square toe vibram sole shoes that we've made. And here Pedro is doing some final brushing, some grinding down on the sole making sure the edges are looking right. Here's a couple of the earlier samples after they're lasted but before they glued on the soles. And here we have one of the round toe monk strap samples that we made. This is a dress shoe with an adjustable heel strap with a leather bottom sole. And here you can see loop spraying on a polish that will help you keep the shoes looking brilliant after you shine them up. And here you'll see Lupe getting the shoes ready for packaging so that everything can be boxed up as a finished shoe pair of shoes. Here you'll see another photograph of the sewing area. This is as you enter the factory. And this is from the other side of the room seeing a little bit better view of the sewing machines. Here you see the lasting area with the last in front of you and the uh, gentleman to the left doing some hand lasting. And this is the back area, the lasting area, with another gentleman working on some insoles. Here you'll see the shipping area, and this is where everything's shipped out. A little disorganized, but that's a small factor for you. And unfortunately, this is the end of our slideshow. We thank you very much for watching this video, and we hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or want to talk with someone from the company, then please visit us at perfectfittingshoes.com or check us out on Facebook and YouTube under our company name, Perfect Fitting Shoes. Plus, again, this month you can see us on Indiegogo.com under our trade name, Perfect Fitting Shoes, as we start the launch of our new line of shoes. Please visit us and place an order because we need to grow the business, which we need to do so we can expand our line so you can find more perfect fitting shoes that you can wear with all your clothes. Thank you again and I hope you enjoy your day.